Dealing with loss and tragedy is hard. That's why we must turn to our family for support. After all, nothing is stronger than a family bond. Or is it? In a new play coming to Atherton this week, a family dealing with a loss have closed off from each other after a close tragedy. Each member is dealing with a loss alone, creating their own personal hell of words unspoken, destructive behaviours and isolation. The main thing of the play is not only to sort of help those who might be going through grief, it's also to help those who maybe know someone who's going through it and to raise awareness as well of being able to talk about your grief and being able to talk about your feelings because in this society, no matter how far we've come, we still can't seem to talk about our feelings and how we feel. It's a very British thing to sort of be a stiff upper lip sort of person and, and, and not to cry. The team at the female-led company Tailspin Theatre found their writer Jordan Kennedy in February and have been rehearsing since April. It's very hard because it is quite a hard sort of subject to go through, especially like for the director and for the actors as well because it's quite an emotional and quite difficult piece to do in some parts. Um, but every one of them has absolutely smashed it and and faced it head on as well. Stages is the brainchild of 21-year-old Marissa Moore, who tragically lost her own brother, 25-year-old Ethan, last year. So the idea for Stages came from a personal experience that I've recently been going through. Um, last year I went through a tragic loss of my own and like a singer, songwriter or anybody else in any other form of art, what they do is put out their feelings in songs and things like that. So I thought, what better way, if you can't talk about it, put it on through theatre. Each character is a representation of a stage of grief, including depression, anger, guilt, denial and acceptance. You don't really know how to handle it, really, because nobody prepares you for this sort of thing. And as a society, it's something that we don't talk about. And I'm hoping through this, with people coming to watch, that it gives off the awareness to talk about things that bottling up leads to blowing up. Stages will be performed at the Way Theatre in Atherton from Thursday the 11th until Sunday the 14th of July. And if you or someone you know is going through grief, Marissa hopes that her play might just be able to offer a little bit of help. Holly Droy, that's TV.